still a little bit too tight right in here. Right where those tabs come. So I got to file a little bit off of there. So got it clamped in there. I didn't have to do that much filing. It actually mostly just smooshed it in there. I did file around here a little bit. Just so that when I go to weld it, it's a nice clean seam. I'm going to try to make the side piece here that goes right in here. I kind of need to do this side one here so that I can finish the seat framing in the back here. Okay, so I just cut this piece out of aluminum. Um, this is 1 16th inch uh, thickness. I want to make it a little stronger, a little more rigid. So I'm going to discard this and then cut it out of 8th inch aluminum. So it'll be twice the weight, twice the price. I'd rather have this a little overbuilt than underbuilt and get dented up easy. So that's what happens. <laughs> Got to keep going. So I ended up doing it in 1 8th thickness. Uh, gives a little more rigidity. All right, so I'm gonna roll this a little bit in this English wheel. Um, basically just to give it a little bit of crown because right now it's a little floppy. And just using a real mild die. You can't put too much tension on these because the aluminum likes to mark. Getting a little bit of a curve to it. Not a lot, but you want to go real slow with this. Otherwise you make lines in it. And I really want to get more of a curve on this end, more of a crown there, so. Not sure why it's jamming up here. This bearing is coming out of the side, which is causing some problems. So what I need to do is get this side to tip in a little bit more. It's sticking out. Go ahead and angle on it. Try to get it to curve like that. So you can kind of see how much shape is in that panel now. About every vice grip I own <laughs> clamped uh, on there just to hold everything solid while you're tack welding it. Okay, there it is. Weld it in there nice. Next side. All right, so working on this front panel. Um, this is what I got made. It's actually really hard to do this panel. I actually had to screw up one piece already. This is the second one I did. And kind of messed up the wheel arch a little bit, so I'm gonna have to fix that. But that's what you start with, flat piece what you end up with. Particularly hard to make, so I'll show you how I did it for the other side. I clamped a couple pieces of angled iron on the sides of this, and that's uh, so that when I'm shaping the middle, what has happened before is that it, it starts to crown, but then it also makes the sides uh, rounded as well, which are, makes it hard to fit. So I'm gonna do this and then just work it in here or I can, and it should uh, keep it straight enough to use. Kind of see it's taking a little bit of shape. Okay, I got it uh, set in there. Pretty much just did the wheel, ran the English wheel on it and did a little bit bending by hand. And came out pretty good. There's still gonna be some flex in there to be moving around as I'm doing the inner inner part of it there. The radius is a little screwed up. Doesn't look quite right. So, and it doesn't really mesh in quite right here. It's got to be a little rounded somehow. So that blends nicely. Okay, I got that tack welded in. What I'm doing now is trying to fix this wheel arch. Um, there's a little paper tape template that I made. I just ran a piece of welding rod along that. Try to establish a nice arch. And I'm gonna make this little piece of aluminum and weld it in and kind of mesh that. It's kind of tough because they're different angles. See I made this little piece here, welded it in, get a nice arc to it. 
Um, and I made that little piece in there. Ties it in. I'm doing the same thing over here. And the way I'm doing it is I just use tape. And you just stick it to either side. Um, this one I have a little welding rod tucked up back in there to get a nice clean line. And then you basically just cut out the shape to so that. And then you put it on some aluminum. Yeah. It's going good. I like it. Okay, so I got this uh, these little panels welded in there. And what I do is I just I grind that down, the weld down, and then progressively finer and finer sandpaper. And I end up hitting with scotch pad. And this is how it turns out. It disappears. Like it's never even happened. You can see the seam on the inside. Yeah. Much better. A bit starting to come together. So initially, I wasn't going to be doing these top panels um, until I got more of the mechanical stuff done in here. But I need to fabricate this little firewall that goes in here, and the only way I can do that is if these panels are on. Basically, just laid up some cardboard. And I just run something, I've just been using my pencil. Okay, so I got these uh, panels made up for the front. I think it looks pretty good. Um, it's really kind of a challenge to get that one in there. Um, so it's kind of a unique shape. 